Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is October 12th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to provide you with another update on Hurricane Michael, which is now no longer a hurricane or tropical weather system to speak of. It is now a remnant low that is being swept away by a trough into the North Atlantic Ocean. And you can see the remnant of Michael here just to the south of Newfoundland. The East Coast has cleared up quite a bit and we have seen clear weather through most of the day for much of the US East Coast after a very severe strike by one of the most powerful hurricanes ever to strike the United States. I am going to go ahead and just read you a list of updates for the storm. And in the background, I'm gonna play this video from Panama City. And it's worth noting that no homes or structures were undamaged in Panama City after the passage of Hurricane Michael. The, the storm produced devastation in numerous communities. Mexico, in Mexico Beach, most structures were completely destroyed and all structures were damaged, damaged with structures that you still, still see standing in some of these videos likely to be condemned due to the fact that structural damage was so extens extensive. Hundreds of vehicles were also damaged and, include, and in addition, four hospitals and 11 nursing homes were damaged. Insured losses have been estimated at $8 billion with, and this does not include the national flood insurance losses, total losses are likely to be far greater. Tyndall Air Force Base suffered significant damage and in total so far now as rescuers and workers are getting into some of the most damaged sections, we're unfortunately finding more bodies of, of people who've lost their lives with 14 souls lost to the storm thus far. I'd like to point out that according to the National Weather Service, Michael also produced a, a, a footprint of tree damage, a, a basically a line of devastation running through a, a large section of Florida. It's as if hundreds of, of tornadoes in, in the EF3 strength just got online and ripped through a, a swath of Florida. And you can see this swath in the satellite picture provided by the National Hurricane Center. You only see these footprints from, her, from the most powerful hurricanes and the most recent storm in the US to produce this kind of swath of destruction in Florida was Hurricane Andrew. Focusing in on the satellite shot, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and show you a NASA worldview shot of this zone, if I can get it to load. So here we go. Just focusing in, you can see the the clear footprint of the storm on the land features in and around Panama City and the local regions, as well as a, a disturbed ocean receiving a great flush of, of water from the heavy rainfall, but also a, a churned up debris sat being swept into the ocean. So, Hurricane Michael, unfortunately for Hurricane Michael, we are likely to continue to tally the damages and the losses for multiple days and weeks to come. One of the worst strikes by a hurricane to the United States ever. And 
a storm that was enhanced by warmer than normal sea surface temperatures as well as higher than normal atmospheric moisture levels, both of which have been enhanced by human caused climate change. So this storm was not entirely a natural disaster, an unnatural disaster made worse by human caused climate change, which is primarily driven by fossil fuel burning. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.